Stacy. How are you? What was my, I can't remember. We did, I know. We did this whole thing one year. And I want to say it was at the California dental meeting one year. We did this whole, everybody was a B. And you were sassy B. I think that's it. What, Virginia was like sweet B or what was she? Yeah, yes, exactly. Yeah. And I, I think maybe I was for, I was spastic B. I don't know. I don't know. It was crazy, crazy B. Oh. Anyway, it's it's funny that your B name is the only one I remember now. But um, because yours should have been one sassy, of my, not mine. <laughs> well, I learned from the best. I'll take over Stassi. Hey. <laughs> Absolutely, one of my most favorite human beings on the planet, and somebody I consider my friend, Debbie Castagna. Thank you for joining me today and doing this video. Um, as you well know, the board has really been working on something big. And I, this is probably the third or fourth conversation you and I have had about restructuring the membership of ADMC. And what we really wanted to do is listen. We wanted to listen listen to what our members are saying. Also listen to what people who want to be a member are saying. And we're listening to each other. And I came to you, I don't know, three months ago, maybe, maybe and said, this is what we're thinking. Your feedback has been invaluable. I've taken a ton of notes and we're going to talk about it. But yesterday we rolled out the video with Andrea and mm -hmm. I releasing our proposed change to the membership, oh. which would which would essentially, I, I want to, I really want to define, and you had some great questions. And so I want to make sure that everybody understands what we're doing. Yeah. Typically uh, from the beginning of time, ADMC has been an application process. It's a non, it's always been a nonprofit. We want to continue to always be a nonprofit. It's always been about education, networking, and collaboration, but there has been an application process. And so it was geared more towards veteran consultants. A certain percentage of your income had to come from consulting in order to be admitted into our membership. That's probably the biggest change that we would like to make and present to the membership to vote on. Now, we still are going to have an application process. We have to because we're a nonprofit organization, but it won't be based around income this time. And so before we really get into the tiers that we're looking at, tell me about ADMC when you joined. How, ma how many years have you been a member? Yeah. Why did you join? And what was it back then? Yeah, well, I joined in 98. And so it's been 26 years that I've been a member and have been on the board a couple of times and, and past presidents. So, you know, I was very involved in, in that part of the organization and it was great on, on different levels. But the reason why I joined was because I felt that it was important to be a part of your professional organization. And I, I have to be honest with you, it was intimidating for me back then because you know, I came from the Pride Institute and some of the people that are listening won't even know who or what the Pride Institute was. But, you know, back in the day of consulting, it was one of the premier dental practice management companies. And when I was there, there were 16 consultants and we had basically one way of doing things in one system. I was very lucky in that I had mentorship and I had people who were there to train me and to coach me and for me to run things by. And so that was very important to me in my development. But I also knew, and one of the reasons why six of us left Pride Institute in 1994 is that we knew that there were other ways to consult and there were other resources to take advantage of. And that's what I was hoping to, to gain from ADMC and it's indeed what I gained. And there were two members there that I worked with. The Belinda Bryant and Betsy Wheat were some of the veterans on ADMC. So, you know, it, that 
helped me to lose some of the intimidation that that I was was feeling, but I I wanted a place to go where I had the opportunity to talk with other people about how they do business and what their model of consulting was and who might I refer to my clients to for a practice transition or things like that that I got in house at Pride, but now this whole big world had been opened up and um, and I also had Virginia and Pam and Jody and Linda and the other women that I had worked with and it, uh, it it felt great going into the ADMC with them and and meeting the others. So it's been a it's been a, a really important ride for me on different levels, but we can talk more about that maybe later. Well, I love that and it makes my heart happy because in one of our conversations, we were talking about what is ADMC. And I'm, I typed this up and so I'm gonna read it for a minute, but I, I love this. And I think that as I talk to more ADMC members, this is what we all want. So in a conversation with you, you said, we want ADMC to be the vehicle that drives consultants to the experts in the industry so we can learn from them. What do young consultants need? How to structure your fees? how to have a workshop, how to have difficult conversations, how to diagnose the obstacles within our client's business and offer them the tools to right the ship. How do we market ourselves? Uh, how do we have a business strategy workshop? I, I will say as a young consultant and speaker, probably 2005, maybe 2006, I was blessed enough to spend a weekend with you and the beautiful and dearly missed Virginia Moore. It's literally the first time I had ever been exposed to a PNL. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know what a PNL. Yeah, I, I, neither I did was. I. I was right. I was a practice administrator of high end dental practices. I was a dentrix software trainer and somebody said to me, you know, basically what you're doing is consulting and but there there was so much more than what I was doing. Yeah. Yeah. So in those bullet points that I just named, I feel like we are that vehicle. I feel like we we do have the experts in the industry. Yeah. And, and that's part of what our annual meeting is. And now the connect meetings. And um, it is where we should be able to send younger consultants or I mean, I still have a ton to learn. I still have stuff that I learn yeah, every course. single meeting. Absolutely. Yeah. So I love that it's always been about education, collaboration. Net. I mean, also, you have to admit, Debbie, I get to see you guaranteed once a year, every year, I get to see you at ADMC. So there's that reunion almost as yeah. well, um, which I love. So, so let's talk a little bit about the new tiers of membership yeah. yeah and and i love that you came to the table today with some questions so first what i'm going to do is announce each one of them yeah and then let's let's talk about the ones that you read and you're like yeah i get that and then the ones that you read and you're like so the influencer would be brand new. These are the guys I'm gonna, I, I kind of think of this as like, um, so you think you want to be a consultant. Honestly, this would have been me, what, 15, 17 years ago. This would have been me. I was a practice administrator. I was a software trainer. I decided I wanted, I could be a consultant, right? Then there's the innovator that's been doing it. Maybe you're already going into other practices because they've called you and they said, I love what you're doing over there. Can you come teach us? So you've been doing it for one or three years. The visionary, well, that's me at this stage of the game, right? The visionary is those of us who are doing it. We've been doing it for a while. As a matter of fact, it's probably 80% of our current membership will be grandfathered into this place. Yeah. And then we have the legends. 
legends, the legends. Uh, when I think of this, I think of Linda Miles. I think of Phyllis Waite. Um, these are the legends who paved the way for us. They're no longer practicing. They're no longer in a in an office. But uh, you you got to be crazy. If one of them called me and said, "I want to speak at the meeting," I would make room for them, and they would be because yeah. we. We would still learn from them. Oh, yeah. oh, there's, yeah. there's nothing in the nothing in the world like a good Linda Miles story. <laughs> so, um, influencer, innovator, visionary, and legendary. What yeah. do you think when we when we talk about those? Yeah, you know, well, I'm thinking about the um, the influencer first, and I'm more thinking about our responsibility to them because I'm thinking about Ooh. being that. Really, it's about being that person who's thinking about being a consultant and coming into a group with all of us, you know, who are, um, you know, been doing their thing. And it's how I was looking at Sally McKenzie and some of the other. Oh, yeah. Bliss, wait, I mean, it was like, how, how the heck am, am I ever going? Even though I've been consulting for four years with pride, it was still like, whoa, whoa wait a minute. So I'm thinking what a great opportunity for them to see what this world can be like, but how are we going to pull them aside somehow and get a conversation going? And what are you looking for and what questions? Because we've got full agendas at these meetings or we're doing breakouts and we're busy seeing vendors or we're having a glass of wine together at the end of the meeting. I think we need to be purposeful if we're looking at increasing membership to Love connect it. with these people to be able to um, help, you know, put them on their way. I mean, how cool and exciting is it? I mean, as hard as it was starting a business on your own, when I look back, I mean, those are like some of the romantic days, right? right. But you need help. You need help. Sure. And so I think that that can be incumbent on on us. Well, I think your heart is exactly where visionary should be. Like that speaks to me as a visionary because I've been saying for a couple of years now, I had some of the best mentors in my professional career, dentists, consultants, speakers, friends. Okay. And now I feel like it's time to start giving back. And that yeah. I think is what visionary is. And that's also why in the visionary bullet points, we have that you agree to participate in a mentorship program. The I, I My idea behind this, um, Debbie, is that when we get a new member, we immediately, I mean, the minute that that they sign on. If it's in January, if it's in August, the minute that they sign on, they get a, me a mentor from the visionary tier that's going to that. walk, walk yeah. them through everything. Then they get to meet in person at the meeting and you have that person for a full year. You can then hand them off to another mentor so they get a different set of eyes. Or maybe you just clicked and you're like, nope, this is my person. So I love that you look at the influencer that way and even the innovator that you look at both of the yeah. tiers that way on yeah. how, how do we help them? Right. right. Love it. Love it. Cool. And, and the influencer, we kind of came up with that name because I felt like, you know, in 10 years, they're the ones they're influencing where this industry goes. Yeah. They're the potential influencers. Absolutely. Yeah. And and we have to mentor them. Yes, we do. Yeah, I mean, I if, love it. if we want to continue with that belief that excellence is who is is what you're going to get if you bring an ADMC member consultant into your practice, it's that's yeah. a responsibility too. I love that. So let me ask you then. Any drawbacks, any obstacles? Like what 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 are we missing? And what what do we need to address? Because I feel like for years now we've heard, I'm already doing this, but I don't qualify. Or I really want to learn from you guys, but I can't come to the meet. I mean, uh, what are we what are we missing? What what do we still need? God, that's um there's always been the feel that. You know, we have to do more. We have to listen to our members. There's 
always been some of the same beefs, which has been, am I really getting my money's worth? Or I'm not sure how to break in with these people or um, I do this as a coach and I'm not getting much of that from the, the curriculum. I think there's only so much we can do in an annual meeting and you can never meet everyone's needs. So sometimes I think that we beat ourselves up a lot in terms of feeling like we need to be all things to, to all people because I think we have to take on some of the responsibility ourselves in terms of, of uh, what's important to me and what's not so important to me. But when I weigh the scales, it still tips in favor of, of the ADMC. But I think that we have to continue to reach out to people and listen to them and um, find ways to help them to um, see that ADMC has value, you know, one of the, and, and those things ebb and flow because one of the times in my ADMC membership where it was particularly valuable, and I mean financially valuable, is when we started the Consulting You. Had it not been for ADMC and SCN, where we were meeting influencers, it wasn't called influencers or innovators, people that were new, that wanted to develop their coaching chops, yeah, you were were part of that. That it was it was beautiful for our business. It was a wonderful adjunct and a different kind of coaching that we did. So that that success came from not only a product we were able to deliver, but from who we met at the ADMC. So I think that you know having some courage and putting yourself out there as a member and maybe us and I'll speak for myself, you know, doing a better job at reaching out to others to for them to see that the, the value that we're not, you know, that we're good people that want to help them to be successful and not just a bunch of wine drinking. Fun loving. Coaches. I think that too. <laughs> I, like that too. I think that's part of it. Yeah, I think I think we're all going to have to be a little bit more vulnerable in releasing some of our mental space and our mental um, experience to the influencers and the innovators, um, so that we don't come off as clicky and we don't. Yeah. Uh, we are truly walking the walk, and I I couldn't think of any anyone better to help me with this conversation than yourself. We, I'll have a video with Deborah Englehart Nash and a video with Catherine Artell, our own Grace, uh, Grace Kelly. But I, I will personally say to you, I so appreciate your mentorship and I so appreciate your, your mental expertise and your heart and the fact 26 years at ADMC. I mean, yeah. that's big, that's big. Yeah. And I, I, absolutely appreciate your support in this new endeavor. Yeah, and it feels great for you to reach out to me and to want the feedback and, and it feels wonderful and I'm I'm happy to do this. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, more great things to come. Thank you for awesome. your time today. My I can't wait to see you in October. Here we come, Phoenix. Woohoo. All right. Love you tons. Love you too. Bye, Anne.